Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft Office from a serial key or a activation key. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so on today's video, we're going to show you how to install Microsoft Office from an activation key or license key. Now, this is uh, going to be a slightly different method than most of you have probably used before or have seen before. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase an activation key from premiumcdkeys.com, of which I am an affiliate. So, I will be leaving affiliate links in the description below if you want to pick up a genuine CD or license key for Microsoft Office, for Microsoft Windows, or for other software packages. Feel free to visit their site and don't forget to use the discount code Mike's Unboxing to get a percentage off of your total basket price. So there's that out of the way, let's get on and do this. Now, I'm doing this purely because I actually do need to do it. Uh, it's my daughter's laptop and she needs to use PowerPoint for a college course that she's doing. And I'm not gonna go to the local PC World or Curry's or whatever and buy a retail package version of Office. It's way too expensive and the Office 365 is just insanely expensive on a yearly basis. So this particular version, which is Office Professional Pro 2019 edition, this is actually less than seven pounds in the UK at the moment, and this is a unlimited license. So this will last as long as they're deciding that Office 2019 will go on for. Could be forever, who knows, is Microsoft, but essentially for seven pounds for a genuine license which activates on the Microsoft sites and is actually attached to your Microsoft account, this in my mind is a bargain. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to set it up, how to install it, and how it all works. Okay, so the first thing we did is we went over to premiumcdkeys.com. Keys.com. Um, we actually did this on Cast Computer, obviously, because it's got our credit card details and all that kind of stuff. We didn't want to show that on the video, but just so you know what happens. So this is the site. And first of all, the first thing that come up, ironically, is the Office 2019 retail activation. And there's the price in euros. And essentially all you need to do is to register or sign in. You can do it as a guest, I believe, but it's better if you sign in, uh, leave your details on there. So then you've got a record of your purchases, all those kinds of things. And essentially all you do is go through the, uh, the checkout process. So select the item you want, look at the price. You can add in the discount code, as we said before, which is uh, Mike's unboxing and you can just add that to your cart and go ahead on through. Again, I'll try and add some footage of this from the actual purchase we did, just so you can get an idea of how it works. But essentially, you'll do that. I did it about quarter to nine this evening, and at uh, 20.49, so about four minutes later, uh, we received this as an email, which I've printed out just so you can see. So you can see it's a genuine purchase, premiumcdkeys.com, thank you for your purchase. So this is what you'll get. You'll get an order confirmation, first of all, and a thank you for your purchase. So it's an invoice, so you can give that to your uh, tax man or your employer or whatever. Keep that as a receipt, as proof of payment. And then also what you'll get is in a separate email, which I'm not gonna show you on screen, is your Windows Office, sorry, your Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2019 retail key. Now this is given you in plain English, and you also get a digital link so you can go to the transaction and you can download your uh, license key, but it's provided to you both on a email and also on the site. So if you do register, you've got an account on there, you can go in and look at previous order history and all those kinds of things. Obviously it makes good sense to, if you can print out your license key, keep a record of it, put it in with your computer motherboard, all those kinds of bits and keep it safe just in case you need to reinstall it at a later date. But the beauty of this is that when you are doing this, because you're adding it to your Microsoft account, as long as you use your Microsoft account on your next PC or another PC, this is gonna be linked to you. It's not linked to the hardware, it's linked to you. So it goes with you. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go into our Microsoft account. So this is, like I said, my daughter's account. So if you go to account.microsoft.com and you can go into your actual account, which I'll click on there. So as you can see, this is totally genuine. This is on uh, Microsoft's own website, and as you can see, you've got the padlock there, so it's a secure site. Account.microsoft.com is uh, about as legitimate as you could possibly get. So what you need to do is, in this section, if this is the first time installing Office from a license key, click on Services and Subscriptions, and this will give you a list of all your current services and subscriptions that you have. So at the moment, um, Angel's got none at all. So if we get into Office 365, then what you can do is you can either try Office 365 for free if you want to, you get a 30-day trial, or this is the one that's important, 
do you have an office product key or an enter your product key? So you can either do it this way, so you can click on enter product key and this will take you to uh, setup.office.com or if you've already got an account and you're quite happy to do it, you can just go directly to setup.office.com and you can go ahead from this part here. So in the instructions, hello, let's get your office. First of all is to sign in with your Microsoft account. So we'll go ahead and sign in. And there we go. So we signed in, see our account picture in the top there. So all we need to do now is enter our product key, which has been emailed to us already, which I've actually printed out as well. So, so once you put all your digits in, you can then choose your country or region. And we're in the United Kingdom and choose a language. And obviously just because you're in the United Kingdom doesn't necessarily mean you have to choose English, uh, but we are going to go ahead and choose English. And then all we do is click on next. So now it says, hello, let's get your office signed in as Angel Churchill. Uh, product key has been confirmed. And step three is to get office. So at the bottom here is uh, I'd like to get surveys, promotions, tips, and advice for using Microsoft Office. Obviously you can uh, remove that if you wish to or leave it on there. I'll leave it on because uh, I'm not particularly bothered. I quite like getting emails from Microsoft. It's quite nice. So all we do is click on next. And now it's going to tell you your product version, your product key. You can always take a screenshot of this uh, while you're doing this, just so you've got a record of it, which is quite useful to do. Again, entirely up to you if you choose to do that or not. I am actually going to do that. And that will save to our OneDrive account. Which again is another benefit of having Microsoft services. So all you need to do is click on download now. And the setup file is downloaded in the background now. And once that's done, you can click on open. And then we can start our Microsoft Office installation. So this installation is going to take a little while, so we'll leave it to get on its merry way. But essentially, that is pretty much it. OK, so there you go. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, uh, a relatively painless task. Obviously, the only painless part or the only painful part is actually paying out a little bit of money for your Microsoft Office, but you are gonna save an absolute ton of money. Um, and this is like, a, like I've shown you, is completely legit. You can register it with Microsoft, register it to your own Microsoft account. You've got no issues there. You don't have any of these kind of odd dodgy Chinese or Taiwanese accounts, which you can use to download software, which I have used in the past, to be completely honest, but uh, never again. This is far simpler and far more secure. And, uh, Hopefully, fingers crossed, is going to last a very, very long time. In the video, we've shown you how to get your premium CD keys license key for Microsoft Office. We've showed you how you can print it out and then input the data into your Microsoft account. And we've shown you how to start the installation process. So it really couldn't be much simpler. But if you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them in the comments section below. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, please do visit premiumcdkeys.com and don't forget to use the discount code Mike's Unboxing. Uh, that helps both us and obviously helps you as well to get a little bit of discount on your products. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.